Hey, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. All right, so Yahweh is the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God, and Bahashem means in the name of, and Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, I want to give double honors and apost to our apostles and elders of a great millstone that rule well, that taught us the truth and warned us of the things to come, the things that you see now happening. Such as World War III, pestilences, earthquakes. All right, these are the things that uh, the stock market crashing, martial law, the microchip, which is the mark of the beast, race wars. Right? These are the prophecies that are written in the Bible. All right? These are the things that they warned us about. All right? Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here pushing this truth in sincerity to Wild of which I do. We love you and we appreciate you through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Shalom to y'all. It's your brother Dawadad Abaratazah or Adawan Ratazah, meaning Lord's will. I'm here to give an edifying lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. <laughs> That's a heavy topic, all right? Over here in the Atlanta camp, we you know we we uh we went through this last week. And it was it was a part of our lesson, right? Obviously, brothers took notes, we learned a lot, we were edified, and um so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, do the same. All right. And where do they get this information from? From our apostles and elders. All right. The ones that actually did the research and went out there and got and 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 and, and learned this stuff through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. The spirit was on them to go out and do this diligent research in order to pass this truth on down, this knowledge on down, this light on down, this life, this water on down to us, and we could pass it on to uh, those of you that are watching. If you are watching this now, you are so-called Black Native American or Latino man or woman. That means you're a Hebrew Israelite, according to Holy Bible, right? You would not find the words black, Latino, or Native American, Indian in the Bible to describe the nations of the people that walk upon the planet Earth, all right? You would not find a uh, uh, Chinese man, Japanese man, Korean man, all right? Honduras man, all right? A Hondurian man, a Hungarian man, German man, uh, uh, African man. These words are not in the Bible, all right? White man, black man. So instead, you got to find out who you are, all right? If your line goes back to the uh, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob had his name later changed to Israel, then you are a Hebrew Israelite according to the Holy Bible, all right? And if not, then you are of another nation. Now, if you don't look like a so-called black Native American or Latino, that doesn't mean that you're not a Hebrew Israelite. It's all according to the, for the, uh, to the, to the bloodline, all right? Uh, you cannot look like a so-called black Native American Latino, and you could look like a so-called Chinese man, Japanese man, Korean man. All the different nations are in the... Uh, in the world, right, and you can still be a Hebrew Israelite, all right, it's not about what you look like, it's about who, uh, who uh, your bloodline going back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right, um, so if you are a Hebrew Israelite, you need to know this truth, all right, so we're going to start at Daniel chapter 7, verse 1, um, and it says, in the first year of Belsh Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his bed, then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. All right. So Daniel saw he had a vision and, um, you know, he, he's telling what he saw in his vision. It says, Daniel sp spake and said, I saw in my vision by night and behold, the four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea. All right. So four winds are, are um, um, east, west, north and south. All right. The four corners of the earth. The four winds are basically um, the kingdoms and the rulers of these of these um, four winds, all right? And it says, and four great beasts came up from the sea, uh, diverse one from another. And it says, the first uh, was like a lion. I believe that's uh, the Mediterranean, yeah. Upon the great sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that great sea is Mediterranean sea. It says, and four great, and four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another. Okay? It says, the first was like a lion and had eagle's wings, all right? I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the, um, the, 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 the great beast that's talking about, uh, that's like a lion with eagle's wings. That's uh, the Assyrian Empire, all right? It says, I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked, I meaning it was taken down and it was lifted up from the earth and made, and made stand upon the feet. As a man, and a man's heart was given to it. And behold, another beast, a second, like to a bear, 
and raised its, itself uh, on one side. And it had three ribs in its mouth of it between the teeth of it. And they said thus unto it, rise, devour much flesh. And it says, and behold, another beast, a second like to a bear. And it raised up itself one on one side. This is that, that the second beast is, um, and it's talking about, a, a, it's a bear. It's talking about the medial uh, Persian empire. That's why it says it was lifted up on one side. So on one side, um, is the, um, or is, is the, uh, is the Persian empire. Cause at that time, the Persian, um, had took over the medial empire. Right. But what happened was when they defeated the Medes, um, the Medes joined in, joined on into the Persian empire. Right. That's what it's a medial Persian empire. So it's joined together, but the, the Persians are much mightier and they, you know, actually conquered the Medes and had them, um, uh, joined unto the Persian Empire, right? So it had become one, but the lifted up on one side part means that the one was larger than the other. Um, it was greater than the other. It was stronger than the other. It was mightier than the other. It was more powerful than the other, All right? So that's why it says lifted up on one on one side. Um, and it raised up, okay, and it had three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it. These, these um, they took down three different kingdoms, I believe was, um, uh, e, uh, the Egyptian Empire, um, Lydia, and Babylon. So these are the three different kingdoms, the kingdoms that they took down. All right, that's why the three; those are the three ribs and a mouth and be of it between the teeth. You can look up this research for yourself to see, actually see what the who the Persians and Medes conquered. It's going to tell you these things. All right, it says, um, and arise and devour much flesh. Right, because this 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 kingdom was was great, man. It was a great kingdom. They destroyed many, right? It says, after this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings, of a fowl. The beast had all, also four heads, and dominion was given into it. He had a leopard. Um, you, if you look up Alexander, who they call Alexander the Great, he had um he had a a leopard as his as his symbol, and and this was the Greek Empire, right? Uh, the um. Alexander Alexander the Greek his symbol was a leopard all right and it says which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl the beast had also four heads and dominion was given to it so it was uh the yeah, dominion was given given to it right so for the four um I said four also had four heads right the four heads talk about Alexander the Great's uh so-called great his generals all right uh, Alexander the, the Greasy all right, his, his generals, his four generals, uh, Cassander, uh, Lysianicus, um, uh, Ptolemy, and, um, uh, so, oh, no, it's, um, Ptolemy, uh, Cassander, uh, Lysianicus, and, uh, Salakia, I believe, I actually got my notes, so, I got my notes, one second, Salakia, Believe it was Septivius. I gotta go back. I gotta go. <laughs> I thought I had my notes in here with me. It's like, lucky, yeah, but um, I'll put it down in the comments who that last general was. I, I know him, but I always seem to get the last one mixed up. But um, it's like, lucky. Yeah, I'll put that in the, in the comments down, down below in the description. It says, uh, verse 7 after this, but a dominion was given to it, right? Like, if you go to the book of Maccabees, you'll see. Um, because it says dominion was given to it, so all the power was given to all four of these generals after Alexander the Creepy had died, man. So it says, After this, I saw in, in the vision and the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. It devoured and break into in pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns, right? Because that's the Roman Empire, right? And those ten horns, um, during that time, 
uh, speaking about their their um the you know the whole system they had set up, but today it's talking about the the NATO and the EU, right? NATO and the EU. Um, that's really talking about today. That's really it's it's twofold, but really today, uh, it's NATO and the EU, all right? Because um, which they have, they have expanded that that whole uh system that they have they they expanded it, but during the uh their uh. But now that's exactly what's talking about because America is known as the Roman Empire, all right? Do in the Bible, spiritually Rome, spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritually Egypt. Um, if you look around, this you know this is the Roman Empire. This is the last leg of the Roman Empire, right? They're not going to tell you they're the Romans, but everything they do is 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 Rome like, right? They they worship all the the same custom um gods that Rome did. Have Roman customs, all right. They teach you Roman numerals. They teach you Latin, all right. And they push this shit heavily down your throats, all right. If you go through their the cities and look at their court systems and whatnot, they, you know, it's it's they have the columns and stuff. Every the architecture, the infrastructure, the architecture is um built like um Roman infrastructure, all right. Roman architecture, all right. That's how they had their you know the the columns and stuff like that, um. You know, was, you know the different statues and how they have their whole setup. Um, you know, there's, uh, we spoke about the Latin, we spoke about the Roman numerals, but also um, you know, the, their gods and their their pagan holidays that they worship, and Easter and Christmas. Those are all pagan Roman pagan, uh, look, look, uh, huh, Roman Catholicism, right? That's you know, it, it's Roman Catholicism for a reason. Uh, that's what it's called. And those are the you know, that's the uh. Um, America uh, accepts heavily accepts Roman Catholicism. All right, um, this there's so many different things that sh that can show you that this is spiritually Rome. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, the the football stadiums and the basketball, or not the basketball, but more, mainly like football and soccer stadiums. They're set up like um, coliseums, right? Like boxing and MMA. It's the same shit. You go, you got two guys. They go in the middle of the cage. Or they go into the middle of a ring, or two teams they go in the middle of a coliseum, pretty much a stadium, and they entertain the people. You know, bread and circus. That that was the Roman customs, man. Right? It said I can. Um, what is it? Yeah, iron because it was. It's it's not. It's mil. It's military might. It's not as strong as the three before it, these great kingdoms, but it's um. It's. Well. Basically, their their military it, like if you when you look at like Alexander the, the Greek and like what he did to just go straight through just conquer the world, um, there was no taking him down, right? And the same you know bef the same before them they they were kind of heavily, you know, greater than America now, right? With, with which is Rome now they they but Rome but you know it's easily being able to be taken over. The iron is weaker. All right, the iron is a weaker uh, material, right? It's a it's a weaker uh uh um yeah, hey, well material just say it like that. It's a weaker material and that's what America is. It's so weak. <laughs> it's 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 weak, man. It's not as strong as as it, you know, once was. It's the, it's the weaker of the of the four um kingdoms because at those times those kingdoms were hard as hell to take down, man. Right? They were stronger material like gold and silver. And 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 this uh this iron is still a strong still a strong material, right? Um but it, it but it's still not as strong as the ones before it. Right? So that's 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 America. It's not as strong as the great kingdoms that came before it, right? And none of these kingdoms really are great. It's just they're great as far as like according to this world, man. You know? And it says, uh, verse eight, I considered the horns and behold, there came up another them, another little horn. Like that little horn. That's all. I, I, and really that little horn is, is, is America, man. All right. And it says before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. Those, yeah, those first horns. Uh, and behold, and this horn were like eyes, the eyes of men. And a mouth speaking great things. I be and that's really the pride, the pride of Esau, man. Right? I beheld 
till the thrones were cast down and the ancient city and the ancient of days did sit whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. So he saw a vision of the heavenly father. He didn't see the heavenly father, but he saw the vision of him. Right. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. So he had a vision of the most high, man. And you see all this fire and flames and stuff and talk. That sounds like power, man. I really wouldn't want to be on the bad side of something that sits of a great power that sits and and, and it's, uh, uh, all you hear is talks of flames and fires and things and things like that, right? A fiery stream issued and came forth from behind, but from before him, thousands, 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 thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were open. Right? Yeah, these are the prophecies, man. These are the prophecies. It says, I behold, I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake, I beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. Right? Because that's what's going to happen to America. It's going to be destroyed, right? It's going to be hit by thermonuclear missiles and, and, and brought down. It says, as concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away. Yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. Yeah, for the rest of the beasts. Um, those, you know, those those great kingdoms were taken down, right? Um, and, but they had their time for a season, right? And, and those other, um, now, th those same kingdoms are still here on the earth. Those same people are still here on the earth. But the the one kingdom that is specifically is going to be destroyed and be and, and be no more. All right, when you read uh, the last couple verses of Obadiah, it, it shows you and it tells you. Right, that that last kingdom, which is Esau. When you read Second Edges chapter six, I believe, you know it talks about how I don't know if it's six and four, I believe, but but um, but it but it, in Second Edges chapter six, it quotes, um, Jacob is the beginning of the no Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is, is the beginning of it that follows. So Esau is the is the end of the world, right? His world, his kingdom, his rulership is coming to an end. And uh, um, Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So when you, it's all throughout the scriptures, man. For for Esau, for Jacob have I love, but Esau have I hate it. It's all throughout the scriptures. Scriptures. When you read in Genesis, right? I believe it's chapter twenty-five. I believe, but when you read in Genesis, what happens? He's the um the the first came out um red like a hairy garment, right? He came out red and hairy. And then the second came out. They didn't even give you the description of what color he was because you know that he's brown. And he, it says that he grabbed the heel of the uh, the brother. So he and, and, it's, and it was prophesied that the oldest shall serve the younger. So what's going to happen is Yahweh, Yahweh Shah is going to come back and we're going to take down uh, spirit. We're spiritually taking down Esau's kingdom now. But when Yahweh Shah comes back, it's going to be taken down physically. And then those other nations, they're going to come up under us um in slavery under the hebrew israelites all right so it says as concerning the rest of the beasts that the other nations they had their dominion taken away yet their lives were prolonged because you got because you know esau is going to be destroyed completely after he serves his thousand years of slavery but the other other um uh nations are going to be under slavery under the hebrew israelites it says i saw in the night visions and behold one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven right because when you read revelations um, when you read Acts first, right? Acts says, um, because the disciples had looked up into the sky when Yahweh Shah was beamed up, and he said, and the angels came to the disciples and 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 said to them, "Why stareth thou thus, like into the skies?" Like he's like the the same way that he left is the same way he's coming back. And when you read Revelation chapter one verse seven, it says, "Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, even the even those which pierce him." So when it says, so it says, I saw in the night visions that behold, one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven. We're talking about those chariots, right? Those those chariots are the clouds of heaven, right? Well, uh, um, behold, he cometh with clouds. The clouds are the the chariots which you people call UFOs. All right, it says, and came to the ancient of days and brought him near before him, and there was given him dominion and glory. And the kingdom, which power, all right, power, 
and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages shall serve him. See, those other nations, man. It says him, him, his dominion is an everlasting dominion. So he's going to be in rulership forever. It says, which shall not pass away in his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body and the visions of my head troubled me, right? Because all the things that must come before Yahweh Shai uh, makes his return, man, which is Jake, uh, Jacob's trouble, man. All right. It's going to be martial law out here. Famines of food and water. It's going to be um, uh, race riots. It's going to be uh, heav heavily. He the, the the streets of America going to be in, the part, in different parts of the world. It's going to be heavily um, thrust through, man. Right. Blood just everywhere, man. People just dying. So many people dying so quickly that there will be no place to, to, to bury these people. There'll be no uh, hospitals to really even take them into and take care of. Everybody's going to be in fear for their lives. So no one's going to uh, care about anybody else, man. It's going to get crazy out here, man. It says, I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me and made me know the interpretation of the things. All right. So he had his, his visions interpreted. It says, these great beasts... Which are four are four kings which shall rise out of the earth, but the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Right? So uh, the Hebrew Israelites are gonna do through, through Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is gonna destroy these kingdoms. Right now we're doing it through spirits, man. I mean through uh, spiritual. We're doing it spiritually. This is spiritual combat. That's what we're doing it now. Now don't get me wrong, we did that in the past. Uh we took a lot of kingdoms down uh in the past by hand. But this is not carnal warfare at the moment. Right now, we're doing everything do, through uh, spiritual warfare. But Yahweh Shai is going to come do it physically. It says, Then I would know the truth of the fourth beast, which was diverse from all the others, exceeding dreadful, whose teeth were of iron and his nails of brass, which devoured great uh, break in pieces and stamped the uh, residue with his feet. And of the ten horns that were in his head, and of the other which came up, and before wh whom three fell, even of that horn that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things, whose look was more stout than his fellows. Yeah, because this, this thing is proud, man. It says, I, be, I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. All right? And it says, until the ancient of days came, and yeah, because they, they, destroy, they destroyed us, man. And to this day, Jake is fucking destroyed. Uh, remember, um, Deuteronomy 28 verse 68 um you, you shall be served you shall uh sold to your enemies for uh, for for handmaid and hand, hand men and hand bond, bond men and bond women and no man shall save you right so no man shall save us we destroyed and Hosea 4 and 6 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge man we got we got our asses kicked man all right and only, and, and it says um he he prevailed against us yeah he did prevail and but Yahweh Shai is going to come back it says until the ancient of days came and judgment was given to the saints of the most high and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom so Yahweh Shai comes back man we all that we're going to get our fucking payback when you read uh in Thessalonians it talks about what um seeing it as a righteous thing with the heavenly father to recompense tribulation to them that trouble thee right the recompense means revenge man payback right and and most highest He's he, he that's a righteous thing to him. All right. So, hey, man, we're going to get our revenge, man. When you read Revelation chapter two and you go and you read all the way down, it talks about how the same thing we're talking about right here, how, about how people, uh, the other nations are going to uh, they're going to serve us and slavery. And ultimately, Yahweh Shai, uh, the heavenly father, do his do his son, Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth. Uh, the fourth kingdom, that's America, man, that's Rome, right? Which shall be diverse from all the kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth. Yeah, because he conquered the whole world and shall tread it down and break it into pieces. And he destroyed the whole world. And, then, and the ten horns out of his kingdom are the ten kings that shall arise and another shall arise after them. And he shall be diverse from the first and he shall subdue three kings. Um, Because I think the three kings... um. Uh, that, that's speaking about were I believe the French, the Spain, uh, Sp French, French, Spain, and uh, French, Spain, and British. Yeah, that's those are the three three kings. And it says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change the times and the laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times are divided in time. Yeah, well. He he has worn us out, man. Right? 
you got to wake up every goddamn day, four o'clock, five o'clock, six, whatever clock, clock in the morning, right? And go work for goddamn pennies out of dollar, man. And and you see all the things that his ideologies has has produced amongst the world, which is letting women just go on and be free to twerk and 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 cheat on their husbands and become sluts and and prostitutes and um uh, fight men and fucking just hit men and then call a cop when the man hit them back and get niggas killed behind all types of crazy madness man and, and and allow two people of the same sex to be married and have sex with each other um and for kids to be just buck wild and for drugs to be sold all across the parts of the world without them fucking they can just easily take out every fucking nigga that sells drugs what they don't they want you to fucking be out there selling drugs and shit man they want there to be a a, a nice perfect balance that they can control out there man that's them man it's their ideologies man they want women to be all liberated so they can do whatever the fuck they want, which which causes fucking chaos, man. It's out of order. All right, that, that's how we're 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 fucking we're fucked up. That's how we uh are are. It says um and shall wear out the saints. We're worn out by that kind of shit, man. It says to change the times and and think to change the times the season. They renamed all the goddamn uh parts of the world and the people and the fucking uh and daylight savings time and 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 fucking spring is supposed to be in the middle of winter almost damn near like they just fucked everything up man the calendar is all way off and shit the, the new moons and all that that they they came up with all fucked up they changed all them shits man it says but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it until the end his power is going to be taken from him, all this shit that you see here it says and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of, of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high, which is the Israelites, right? Um, after Yahweh Shai, who's king, and after King David, and whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. See, all the nations are gonna serve the heavenly father through his son and underneath the Israelites and King David. Do you see this? Do y'all see this, man? Right? All that and our kingdom is gonna last forever. So fuck everything here, man. Fuck. All the people in these mansions and have these nice cars. This shit is going to be destroyed and very quickly and very soon too. It says, hitherto is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my uh, cogitations much troubled me. And the countenance changed in me. But I kept the matter in my heart. And hey man, that's what we need to do. Keep that matter in the heart and, and put the Heavenly Father through his son first, man. All right, they're the, uh, the heavenly father is the creator, and so is Yahweh Shah. He created things too, right? He's not the ultimate creator, but he created a lot of things, man. Um, he created this world that we live in, and it's beautiful. It, it, Eden, man, Idan, it means paradise, bro. You know, and, and you know, and the scriptures say that he, he created it. When you read Genesis, the, the first, when you read Genesis you, and, and you read it the right way, you'll see, right? And it also says it in John, uh, Yahweh Shah created this world, man. So we gotta, we gotta, you know. Give all praise and glory unto you, how about Shimia Shai? And um, you know, and, and keep the matter in the heart. Alright, shalom to y'all.